ESRI Geo Inquiries are 15 minute activities on standard classroom content using the ArcGIS Online mapping platform. You can access Geo Inquiries from two locations esri.com slash geoinquiries, which has the completed sets plus those available for field testing, and from esri.com slash connected which displays the completed sets a little bit more descriptively. These are choose and use lessons requiring no install, no download, no login. Just choose and use. Let's try this US history activity about steel. Just click on the explore button to open up the PDF. Each GeoInquiry is a two-page PDF document with guidance walking you through steps and the key things to consider. Each GeoInquiry has its own unique custom URL, which you can just click or copy or type in order to open up the map. The map also opens without any login required. Each map looks a little bit different, but they all have some common characteristics. These are live interactive maps that you can click and hold and move around. You can zoom in and out in several ways by using the plus and minus buttons in the top left, by double clicking on the map, by using a mouse's scroll wheel, or by holding down the shift key and clicking and dragging a box. You can also return to the starting point by clicking the home button. To the left of the map is information about what's in the map. There are three buttons at the top. The right one shows the legend of what's currently displayed. The center shows the contents as layers that are available in the map. And the left shows a little information about the map with access to more details. With the contents button clicked, you can control which layers are on and off. The map displays layers according to the sequence in the column at left, moving from the bottom up. So sometimes you need to turn off a layer in order to see what's beneath it. Right now, the map shows a topographic base map. One of the cool features of ArcGIS Online is the ability to swap base maps anytime you want, because some data is easier to see over one base map than over another. You can also control the transparency of a layer by hovering over the name, clicking the three dots to bring up more properties, and using the transparency slider to make it little bit by little bit on up to 100% transparent, or shade it back down. This even works with the base map. Each feature on the map above the base map has some information attached to it, and you can see it by clicking on the feature. If your map has several layers that are turned on, or if many features in one layer are close together, you may get a number of features at one time. You can use the next and previous buttons at the top of the pop-up to move your way through these features.
all the features in a given layer may be able to be shown using a table, which you can open, explore, and sort. You can even get some basic statistics. Above the map, you've got a Find Address or Place tool where you can type an address or a feature and go to that feature and see it depending on the layers that are in display. You may also have, next to the Find box, some bookmarks that take you to certain focus zones for the activity. There's also a measure tool that allows you to display area or distance or location. Thanks for checking out GeoInquiries. We hope you like these. Let us know by providing feedback using the address at the bottom of each activity. And check out the next steps just above for branching out into your own with a free account to any US K-12 school at connected.esri.com or esri.com slash connected. Thanks.